we need to talk. Because there is something that people aren't talking about enough. Gas. Some people call it natural gas. But gas is about 95% methane, which is a greenhouse gas and a fossil fuel. So we call it fossil gas. Gas comes from drilling deep into the ground and sometimes requires fracking to get it out. As gas is extracted, infrastructure is required to move it around the world, which is connected to environmental destruction, political corruption, land grabs, state violence, and water pollution, as exporters need to send fossil gas around the world. And this is what we need to talk about. Because methane is a slippery gas, and all across these infrastructures, it is leaking into our atmosphere. People talk about gas as clean, because when it is burned, it produces only half the CO2 emissions as coal. But when methane isn't burned and escapes into our atmosphere, it is a greenhouse gas over a hundred times more dangerous than CO2. Now listen carefully because this has to do with all of our common interest. The European Union is currently planning on using public money to subsidize and prioritize more than 93 new gas infrastructure projects that they are calling projects of common interest. This would lock us into another generation of fossil fuels at precisely the moment when we should be breaking our addiction to them. Europe imports almost half of global fossil gas imports. So any decision here has effects around the entire world and on all of our atmosphere. This is why we made this video, because each of us has our piece to play in the resistance to this fossil fuel lock-in. This isn't just a question of energy, it's a question of justice. Because while all this gas is welcomed into Europe, the people who are displaced from its extraction and its climate impacts aren't. But here is the crucial question. Why would Europe decide to invest billions of euros of public money in building 93 new gas infrastructure projects? Well, the answer might just have less to do with energy infrastructures than with global financial markets. It's about keeping the economic bubble based on cheap fossil fuels growing. And people are losing faith that coal and oil are good long-term investments. So the fossil fuel industry is spending billions on advertising and lobbying to sell the idea that gas is a clean, green transition fuel to keep the economic bubble and their share prices growing. But bubbles burst sooner or later and an economy built upon the idea that all known fossil fuels will be burnt is incompatible with life as we know it. The fossil fuel industry wants us to think that fossil gas is a bridge fuel to a renewable energy future. Fossil gas is not a bridge to renewables, but rather competition. Every euro spent on new fossil fuel infrastructure is a euro not spent on renewables and a bridge to lock us in to another generation of fossil fuels. But all across the world, communities are rising up to stop this dangerous lock from closing and playing their crucial part in a global resistance, not only to gas or to fossil fuels, but to the entire unsustainable extractivist worldview it is based upon. Maybe, just maybe, as we stop fossil gas, we can also stop the economic model it is maintaining and instead build a decentralized, renewable and democratic energy future. This is where you come in. We are building a movement of gastivists who are organizing to stop fossil gas, fossil fuels, and who knows, maybe even the entire economic system it maintains. We have a choice to make fossil fuels or a livable planet. It's now or never. Will you join us? <laughs>